And we're going to go to the on three listing here, the three hard commits that just came in this past week. So we've got Demetrius Bell. It's Demetrius Bell, six flat, 175 out of Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, there you see his state ranking, 14th in the state of Tennessee, played some good high school football in Tennessee based on my contacts, based on the people that um, I listen to, better football uh, playing in Tennessee in years. Uh, the high school football in Tennessee has improved considerably, especially there in Nashville out of McGavick High School, 72nd rated player at his position and wide receiver in the nation, top 500 player as well. So Demetrius Bell, if you've seen him play, can you add anything to our conversation here on Demetrius Bell? Also, Ishmael Smith Flores, a tight end out of Arlington, Texas, 65210. And of course, the Texas talent is deep. So 137th rated player in the Lone Star State, 46th at his position nationally, and number 816 according to the composite of everyone put together. His highest state ranking is number 83. He probably ranks that low in the state because there's one particular service that does not have him ranked in the state. He's a number 83, 106, and 170 in the other three rankings. Uh, and in looking at Demetrius Bell, he's as high as sixth in the state of Tennessee, according to one particular service. Then you got Jeremiah Charles, another wide receiver coming in out of Martin High School there in Arlington, Texas as well. So two competing high schools in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Arlington, Texas. And of course, if you follow the NFL, you recall that uh, the old Cowboys Stadium was in Arlington, Texas. Jeremiah Charles is at 62170, according to On3, and he has no current ranking. That doesn't mean he's a no-star. Uh, so to be clear about that, that does not mean that he is not ranked highly, will not be ranked. He is a three-star, but uh, the rankings reset will come on Jeremiah Charles and others here soon. So all three of those players came in for Matt Rule on January 23rd or 24th. And then, of course, the big news this week is that Eric Gilbert, the former LSU tight end, is Lincoln bound. The former LSU tight end, Eric Gilbert, caught 35 passes, two touchdowns in his freshman season of 2020. He was the highest ranked tight end in the nation. Eric Gilbert in 2020 going to LSU. He had a number of off-field issues and incidents. I don't want to judge those in any such way. There's a lot of rumors out there, a lot of conjecture about exactly what those were. Those could be in the, the, the area of academics. Those could be domestic issues. Those could be otherwise behavioral and so forth. But uh, Eric Gilbert chose to transfer to the University of Florida. And he was only there for about three to four weeks in the winter of, it must have been 21, early 2021 at Florida. Didn't play for the Gators, didn't suit up for the Gators, nothing at Florida because then he turned around and he opted to leave Florida and landed at Georgia. If you know anything about Georgia football, of course, as the defending two-time national champions. They have a player at Brock Bowers who's one of the best, probably the best tight end in college football. And Darnell Washington's a monster as their backup tight end. Eric Gilbert uh, only caught a couple passes this past season, not due to a lack of talent because he is loaded. And again, um, he was a freshman All-American and uh, honorable mention All-SEC in his freshman season, true freshman season of 2020, 35 catches, two touchdowns. Eric Gilbert, the big find this week for Nebraska football and Matt Rule.